Father, we thank you for this another opportunity to minister to these, your precious sheep. Thank you, Lord, that revelation knowledge will flow freely, uninterrupted and unhindered by any satanic or demonic force. And Father, I pray that you will speak through my vocal cords. Now, now, see, that's where I get mad, Creflo Dollar, T.D. Jakes, you know, uh, Bill Winston. At least Creflo didn't say he was God. You know what I'm saying? At least he didn't say he was God. Because they but one God, and y'all know his name, Adam. Shit, I came and told you to go to Revelation 3, 11, and 12. Told you, don't lose your crown, because everybody's supposed to be Adam. Re uh, Genesis 5, you know what I'm saying? Genesis 5, right there, 1 and 2. And their name was Adam in the day when they was created. I ain't sitting here for nothing. I had a deja vu today, you know what I'm saying, this morning, you know, sitting in the same spot. And God showed me right there that this garage and this house was where I was. I don't know if this where I died. Not this time. I ain't talking about died this time. I'm talking about living a whole 2023 years and then we coming up to everything everybody watched in the movie. And everybody now starting to get paranoid. You know what I'm saying? The stores ain't supposed to be buying and selling. God's supposed to take all the money out the stores. And we supposed to be working for charity. You know what I'm saying? For the love of what we do. For the love of God. And when you work for the love of God, you don't work for the love of no spirit, just no spirit. You working for the love of God. That's each individual angel, each individual man, each individual woman, each individual child, each individual old man, each individual young man. You know what I'm saying? That's God. And everybody made love to be made love unless they was raped or molested. And you know that's a sin, that's judging and killing. You got to do that. That's go along with killing, stealing, and destroying. You know what I'm saying? So unless, if you was made love, then you are God. You know, everybody God. Man, I, I prove it anywhere in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? But see, that's what I get mad about right there. Because he want me to speak through his vocal cords and everything he say is supposed to be the truth. And I know none of the stuff he say the truth. Because I know he's Satan and the devil. You know what I'm saying? But he praying to God, praying to me, is making me look bad. Because if I don't give him what he want, then it, it make me feel like I didn't do him right. If I don't let him, if I don't speak through his vocal cords. How am I going to speak through his vocal cords and lie? Like yesterday. I mean, like, uh, like on this. He said, and he going to say on this. You know what I'm saying? If I go that far. He gonna tell you, you know what I'm saying? Repent, do not mean apologize. And that's totally wrong. You know what I'm saying? Now, I said, if a man sinned against you seven times and apologize seven times, you must forgive him. But if he don't apologize, you ain't gotta forgive him. That was in the Bible. But y'all took it out. I know it was in the Bible because I wrote it. And think through my mind. Think through my mind. Think through my mind. See, None of me. God, all that, but don't like God. All of you. Don't like that. And want it's to in be Jesus' name we want pray. To be using money and, shit. and everybody Tithing said, offers against God. Amen. Now, Would you give just the Lord prayer. a big hand clap? Give yourself a big hand clap. Just thank God. He is so worthy of it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Amen. You may be seated. This is our third, our third stab at this. <laughs> I think we'll get it today. We're talking about the worthy walk. And I think you're going to be so blessed to be able to see just what this is all about, considering what we thought it was about. I think it's going to make life a lot more comfortable as you walk with the Holy Spirit. Go with me to the book of Romans, chapter 12. 
Romans chapter 12 and verse 1 in the King James and then the NLT. Romans chapter 12, Dad. Romans chapter 12. No, go over here. Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12. Let me see if you say what you say. But see, they'll read you one thing. You always got to go to that. They shit, you know what I'm saying? You always got to follow them to the scripture. Because they don't read the scripture right. And Creflo don't even read the right book. It ain't King James. Damn, what was that, Daddy? Romans 12. Yeah. No. All right. Let me see. And I want to begin here. Now, let me start off with this statement here, and you might want to jot this down. Under, under grace, the first thing that God does, under grace, he reminds us of what he has done in grace. So when you live... Creflo, don't even talk about grace, man. Don't even really talk about grace because you do not show it. You do not have it. That's something you can't have from God is grace because you don't show it. Like I said, man, if you, don't, if you don't forgive, I can't forgive you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But if you don't forgive, I can't forgive you. That's a true statement. But somebody got to apologize. You got to repent to get forgiven. You know what I'm saying? And then grace is the same as forgiveness. You got to show it. You got to be grateful. And you... You know you don't like Adam. You know you're against Adam, and you know you're against Eve, and you say that Eve was caused to fall, and you lied. Why don't you go to Romans 5 and explain all them lies on Adam and Eve? You go and do that for me. Go and explain all the lies on Adam that's in Romans 5 that say, and I was the one to come. And you know I'm here because this is 930. Plus me, Jesus, 933, plus a thousand years being in daddy, in Adam, and y'all was a thousand years with Satan, and then that thousand years plus this 966 is what? 1966, January 1st. I don't play with my dates, and this God, I ain't got to pay for shit. I come with a reward and the inheritance, all the worlds, not just no nation. All the world, square flow dollar, all nations shall call who bliss. Living a life under grace, you, you, you want to be reminded of what he's already done in grace. You are, you are, you are, you've been made righteous by the grace of God. You, you, you've been saved by the grace of God. We're talking about uh, your deliverance, your, your when have you apologized, Creflo Dollar, to receive that grace that you talking about God gave you and all that? If God gave you some grace, where you get it from if you don't give it and you don't do nothing for nobody and Adam ain't shit? You know what I'm saying? And God ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and money is the best thing for it. You know what I'm saying? And working for charity ain't shit. And grace, mercy, and all that ain't shit. You don't give it. And sitting up there talking about it. I ain't seen where no angel wrote nothing that gave us no million dollars. He was saying you got all these millions, you got all these years. Holy because of the grace of God. It, the grace of God established your stance in heaven. You are that. You, you may not be that right now in your living, but through grace, he has declared you righteous. How you might not be doing it in your living, and then get it done. How you might not be doing it in your living and still get it? How you gonna not have belief, labor, love, and still get it? How you gonna not be doing loving people right now? How you not gonna be giving grace right now? Even though you don't give grace, God still gonna give it to you. How is that? You know, this God, Creflo, this ain't no man. This ain't no devil. You him. <laughs> He has declared you holy. He has declared you sanctified. He's declared you a part of his family, sons and daughters of God. All of this is the work of grace. It was nothing you did. 
all of it is the work of grace that God has done for you. And then on the basis of that, on the basis of everything you remind yourself, you know, when you act crazy one day, you remind yourself, I'm still righteous because that was a gift that God gave me. I'm not Man, how you still righteous if you, if you act crazy and ain't apologize to nobody? See, that's what I'm talking about. See, you doing a sermon, you leading up to that same shit. That repent don't mean apologize. That what you leading up to right now with all that sweet short talk shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm fucking with you. It look like I'm going against myself and blaspheming God, though. Because I'm judging and accusing you. This is your judgment, Creflo Dollar, not mine. I'm having Detroit Jackson. I'm the one that's 1906, I mean, 2023 years old, exactly. You are older than that. So you should have knew better before I got to this point. Not quite there yet, but let me remind myself, I'm, I, I'm still holy because this is what God has done through His grace. Uh, let me remind myself that I am you these things, no and then what hopefully will happen no. is when you get up in the morning time, you remind yourself that you're up. You wouldn't be here under judgment right now with God looking at you, Creflo Dollar, if you was a good person, and, and God called you righteous, and, 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 and God did not say, it pleased him to bruise Jesus. And he did not say, with each strike, you gonna be healed. And I did not say, you know what I'm saying? I smited Christ, y'all did. He was smitten of God, that's what you said. So why would I sit up here and play with you, Creflo Dollar? And every, everything about your life this is, this is the thing that just blows my mind, that under grace, God decided by His grace and mercy to not, to see you faultless. That blows my mind because I know we are not without fault here on the earth, but God decided to see you faultless. You're a damn lie. I, ain't just, I did say that to him who, to him that is able to make you faultless. That's Adam. Because we supposed to be hid in him, this Jesus. And those that are Christ at God's coming is here. You know what I'm saying? That's what I said. He ain't never been up here with us. That's why you in judgment right now. You a preacher. You the brutish preacher that got brutish after Moses died. And I, I wouldn't put it past. You was the same dude then. Like I say, I done been in this house before. And you look like the same dude then. That I told, go, sell everything, give to the poor, then come follow me. Man, I ain't got to give you no grace if you don't show it. I can't forgive you if you don't forgive. So what make it different with grace and mercy? Because he sees us through Jesus Christ. And you have to remind yourself. I do not see you through Jesus Christ if you're a sinner. I see you through Satan. So, because if you don't remind yourself, then the... Um, condemnation and you know coupled with the enemy he'll start telling you you're no good i told you you was already condemned for the condemnation that y'all did i ain't do none of you you did it to adam and me and this this jesus and adam now this the whole world couple of dollars you done been caught a thief a liar and a whole bunch of other stuff man blaspheming just blaspheming god man stopping the, our whole operation because you and I told you the wealth was laid up for the sin. I mean, the wealth of the sinner was laid up for the just. So I got to get it from the sinner and give it to the just. I got to get it from the IRS. I got to get it from the government. I got to get it from that 501c3. Not no damn church. We the church, but sin against the God of God. Sin of God, which y'all pre sin. You know what I'm saying? That's condemned for that condemnation. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Uh, then you start feeling guilty and you feel bad. Oh, if I'd have did this. And the next thing you know, you've, talking your, you've talked yourself uh, out of a heavenly situation into a carnal, fleshy situation because you fail to keep in remembrance. I'm here to create new heavens, <laughs> not no new earth. I cre create new heavens and a new earth, Creflo Dollar. But no flesh can enter in the heaven, <laughs> and that's all you hear, flesh, all I see, because I ain't seen nothing from you, I ain't heard a good word from you, how you doing, Adam, man, thank you, you know, man, this is so great, don't nobody say that but them tarot card readers, that tell the truth, 
But y'all preachers ain't see a shit to Adam. And that's the first one y'all should see. And this the trucking and automobile industry. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna sell no more cars with money until God say it. But then, um, this all the stores and stuff, Crippler. Y'all preachers is the one got us in this, man. We've been listening to y'all. And remind yourself of the work of grace and what God has done for you by grace. If you understand all that, say amen. amen. Now, Gotta on the basis of that, it, man. Shit, you, can't be out you there find the Bible the devil, begins to show you different appeals. God start yeah, making, makes, ma he start you. making, making that's appeals like for a life that's in harmony that with what he has done. So God starts coming to us and he says, all right, now, let's God now harmonize <laughs> your living with what he has done by grace. Yeah. All right, by grace, you're righteous. Mm -hmm. Your life is still, is still uh, nah, developing that's in that. Life. You gotta do and that's good Jesus because what that. he's wanting to happen yeah, is, let's now develop to this place of what grace has said. Now, what we've gotten in church, what we've gotten in church is this. Let's go ahead and do right so we can earn the right to be righteous. That's not what he's saying. He says, I've already given you the right to be righteous without you earning it. You're damn like Cripplo. That is not right, Cripplo. I say your labor ain't going vain. What the fuck would I say that for if you didn't have to labor and do right? All the Bible tell you is about doing right, sharing with each other, you know, lean and do not expect nothing from nobody. Lean and, ex lean and do not expect nothing in return. Uh, what else to say? You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of stuff. All right, I'll put it back here. They say lean it, do not expect nothing to turn it. Love your enemies, one of them. Now let that motivate you to, to harmonize with what I have already done. Harmonizing with the works of grace. I'm not accepting credit for what God has done, and it's not by my self-effort that it got done. It's not by my sweat that it got done. But since it is finished, I like that, say it's finished. Since it is finished, now God help me to harmonize with who God says I am. God says I'm righteous. God says I'm holy. God says I'm... Well, I already told you who you was, Creflo. Look at your face now. Who is that? That's Satan right there, Creflo. That's Satan, I told you, you, I ain't never told you you're righteous because you ain't never told nobody else. They was godly. You ain't never told God. Thank you for coming. And the resurrection, man, you missed it. You know what I'm saying? He ain't never been up here with us. Went for the angels. Heaven, not flesh. You know what I'm saying? We I'm perfect. You God ain't. says I'm without fault. Help me to harmonize how in the hell you without fault if you a judge and accused sinner? A sinner is somebody who judge and accuse, not smoking, and drinking, and just because you don't smoke and go to clubs and stuff like that, or have sex with all the way. You being married make you a sinner, because that's judging and accusing God, getting married anyway. When I said you ain't supposed to get married on paperwork, you know what I'm saying? And then rubbing it in my face that you do. T.D. Jason, preachers say, woman preacher said they get i mean we get married down here but they don't get married in heaven heaven and earth is one place heaven is where the heaven walk on earth we the heavens that walk on earth god was in the heavens and the spirit of god was hovering over the water and y'all was the heavens i was in i wouldn't lie to you man i wouldn't lie to you i don't know when it's gonna be finished but I ain't gonna sit up here and let the devil in and flesh in from what I hear you preaching. So don't try to look at me like I'm unmerciful or I'm ungraceful and won't give Creflo Dollar a chance. And we'll get a devil a chance, man. We'll get a devil, let the devil in to what? Fuck me up? Fuck my shit up? Like he already did?
this natural life on the heavenly plane of where God sees me. Now, now here's the wonderful part about it. God's already declared all this, so certain things are already set in motion. He sealed it with the Holy Spirit. So you, you The only thing I declared is you condemned to your bullshit. You already condemned to that. You, you already did your thousand years in the, in the pit. Now you came out and seen heaven again, you, you, you don't want to go back to where you was. You're going back to where you was. I ain't, I, you can't come at me. This love talk. You, talk you don't have to be falling on your face. Oh, you Lord, am I still going to heaven? Do you still believe in Jesus? Yeah. You heaven bound. That's taken care of. Now, how you, I take care of if I'm sitting up here as Jesus telling you, you not in me. I just take care of I know none of us really want to go to heaven and without knowing that we were in the process of harmonizing our earthly life with this grace declaration of who God sees us and how God sees us. I, See, that's what I'm talking about. I'm God, man. I proved I'm God. I don't know what you're talking about, how God sees you and all that. I don't know what God you're going to. But when you get there, you tell that devil, man, I say bye and don't come back to heaven. Ain't no flesh here, man. We don't work with money and we don't fuck with nothing but charity. When we do work, we do it for the love of what we do. That's why we all friends and partners and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Not enemies trying to act like we like each other and stealing from all the employees. It's not going to be enough for me. Oh, I'm in heaven. Uh, oh, look at the streets. They're going, no, I'm not interested in that. This is all a, a, a relationship now. I love you so much. There's certain things I don't want to do no more. I'm tired. You love so much. Who you love so much? So what? You don't want to what? You don't want to tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing you. Can, it ain't nothing you done correct yet. What you tired of? Lying. Tired of holding out against somebody. It's it wastes my energy. I'm tired of hating. I'm tired of walking in unforgiveness. I'm tired, tired of trying to, you know, figure out how not, not to bump into you. And every time I see you cross the street, I got to go somewhere else when I need to go right there where you had to cross the street. <laughs> oh, so I'm tired. I don't want to do this no more. Bad. So what is that? So, so judge me a bad thing, huh? Cripple dollar. Man, somebody got to be judged for 2,023 years of God saying, you know, he smited Jesus, and each strike he healed. You know what I'm saying? I know it feel messed up. I know it feel dirty walking in, you know, unforgiveness. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't forgive. You know what I'm saying? And you don't like Adam. I, how in the hell, if you don't like the A-T-O-M, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the A-T-O-M, the light. If you don't like the light, you know what I'm saying? How you go like me, man? And this Adam, the, the light. A-T-O-M is me. The first day, let that be light. Heaven was in the heaven. God was in the heaven. You was the heavens I was in. So don't try to act like you knew, didn't know better. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm wrong for what I'm doing in judgment and who I judge. I ain't found them a few thieves. Now what's going on? God, by the Holy Ghost, is changing your want-tos. The stuff you used to want to do, you don't want to do it no more. So the Holy Spirit is working in this transition? Judge. Transitioning, transitioning you? The Bible tells you that your reproof, uh, the reproof of your sins going, you know, you're you going to be reproved of your sins. That's what it said. You was going to be reproved of your sins, Creflo. That it was me. You was going to be reproved of your sins. The sins that you done was going to come back and tell you what you done. And they can't do nothing because it's God got to do the judgment. It's God's judgment. You know what I'm saying? The reward, yeah, that's all inheritance, yeah. But if you turn it down, then what you got? You got judgment. Because you became an enemy of God. You became the thief that stole from God. I told you Tyler and Alvin was stealing from me in Malachi. You know what I'm saying? I told you that in Malachi. 
to this place of grace, of what grace has done? That's so amazing to me. God, God looked at our lives and looked at me and looked at you and said, they are really dirty, but I'm going to adopt them into my family. I don't think so. I don't think so. If you was that dirty, Creflo Dollar, killing, stealing, and strong, why the fuck would I ask you to come into my kingdom if you lied on me and said I killed Jesus? Huh? Why would I ask you to come to my damn kingdom and be in heaven? I told you, ain't no flesh coming in. That was you, wasn't it? You was flesh, wasn't you? And then why you think you welcome now? Talking about grace and don't give it. Talking about mercy, don't give it. You ain't talking about mercy now. You ain't talking about nothing. Because in a minute, you're going to mess around now and tell it like you said it. You know what I'm saying? Repent don't mean apologize. And when you say that, I'm going to hang up. And through Jesus Christ, I'm no longer going to look at them without looking at them through the lens called Jesus. So I can't help but to see them as cleansed because I'm looking at them through Jesus. I can't help but to see them as holy because I'm looking at them through Jesus. And you got to quit thinking that he's looking at you without looking at you through Jesus. Now, that's what I'm saying. Hey, you don't look at me through Jesus because I'm Adam. I'm the one that's, that's the Holy Father. I'm God. I ain't got to worry about being looked at by no Jesus. That's your problem, devil. That's your made-up theory. That's your made-up shit. That's your beast that you made Jesus into. You know what I'm saying? To be worshipped and gave money unless y'all was going to kill him. Huh? Now, he murdered him. And then said God did. He was smitten of God, and it pleased God to bruise it. <laughs> and each stripe you heal. When God get that bad to kill kids, firstborn kids, when God do that? What was that? The devil did that, Crypto. <laughs> you in judgment now. This judgment. This ain't no TD just got the same judgment. And I was gonna do that Thursday sermon the same way I'm doing this one. I was gonna do that Thursday sermon when he was talking about how the devil was so good to us and all that there. I was going, man, ooh, ooh, that's why he wouldn't repost it. You notice he didn't repost because he know he wasn't nothing but the devil. Only God would repost a, a, a sermon if it was messed up. You know what I'm saying? Because God don't make no messed up sermon. God don't do no lies on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Call itself God doing it. And then, you know, expect somebody to take it in and then he hide the video and don't post it no more he would delete the video you know what i'm saying like we supposed to respect that video if it's deleted he didn't even get a chance to let god judge him with his low down ass <laughs> read romans 5 <laughs> apologize to adam for every one of the mistakes and read them and tell what mistakes y'all did if you know the mistakes i know you feeling sorry for what you did if you could do that, because every knee must bow in this 2023 sitting here. 930 plus me, Jesus, 933. That was daddy, 930 plus me, Jesus, 933 plus the thousand years we was in daddy. <laughs> Not me, Jesus. <laughs> and then y'all was in Satan, condemned for that condemnation that you talking about now, that we judging you on now. And then, after that thousand years that we both was either with Jesus or in the devil, with the devil, then that thousand years plus 966 is what? You know what I'm saying? 1966. And January 1st, 1966 is what? Adam's birthday. So who is Adam? A-T-O-M. Let there be light. Who said it? That's why your Bible don't read like mine. God was in the heavens, my first first scripture. God was in the heavens, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters, is the book I wrote. And you was the heavens I was in. That's the book I wrote. Find that book, you find me. <laughs> so something ought to be going on on the inside of you where you're saying, what are the appeals that he is making? I want to live right now. I want to I wanna live right now. I want to live right. You better live right or you're going to go to hell. No, no, no. Hell's not my motivation for wanting to live right. It was, but I didn't know none of this. Hell used to get everybody. You better get it right. Don't you go into hell? Okay. 
That's not my motivation now. My motivation is so much deeper than fear. And my motivation is something that's being born out of a growing relationship with this amazing God who is filthy rich in mercy and grace. I want to do right because I still don't understand why you died for me when I was acting like a fool. I don't get why you went to hell for me and didn't let me go. I don't understand how you can say uh, uh, I didn't go to hell for you, Griffalo Dollar. I went to hell. Yeah, I did go to hell for you because you sent me there. Judging and accusing, murdered me, sent me there. Yeah. But I didn't go for your sins, though, Creflo Dollar. I ain't go because, you know, I come back to save you from your sins. I come to do what I come to do. I told you when, when you murdered my son, I told you, you know, what, what, what should I do? You know what I'm saying? They murdered my son. And I said, I know they're going to reverence my son. After you did what you did to the other people I sent to get the harvest, then when I sent my son Jesus, after I died in 9.30, I sent Jesus. And that was me, the Holy Ghost, Adam. And I got in Jesus. 33 years. Didn't make it, but 33 years. Got murdered. Because of them scriptures y'all made up. Because of that book y'all read. You know what I'm saying? Because of the lies y'all told about Adam, Romans 5. You know what I'm saying? Read the whole thing. It's all about Adam and how he was the low down one when really it was the devil. Say, did God say you shouldn't eat the tree of good and evil? She said, yeah. He said, don't eat it and don't touch it. And then he said, oh God, just don't want y'all to know that the day you eat their of, you know what I'm saying, your eyes gonna be open. And you going to see yourself as gods. And you going to know you as gods. And then God said, now man has become one of us to know good and evil. So God hid the tree of life, which was Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve was the tree of life, Creflo Dollar. Adam and Eve, mom and dad, one dough, one tree. One tree, Creflo Dollar. That's why I love family. I do like it when you got a wife and stuff like that. I enjoy wives. Two of them at least. Now, you know, that third one, you don't know say I couldn't enjoy. I enjoy it. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy it most of the time. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew I would get messed over anyway. So I just knew who I was fucking with. You know, God will fuck with Satan every now and then. You know what I'm saying? And Satan. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta repent, man. And that means a apologize. That means apologize to a motherfucker and say, I'm sorry. I'm righteous when you know good and well what I did last night was unrighteous. How do you do that? And he says, because I love you. And I'm thinking, if, if, if this God loves like this, I won't end. I won't end. And I want to know how. To, to do this thing, and it becomes pleasing to him. And so in, in, in Romans chapter 12, as an illustration of, of what I'm trying to teach you, he says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, he says, I'm really trying to motivate you, but I'm not doing it out of fear. I'm motivating you by the... No, that's say, be, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God that you don't show, Creflo Dollar, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. That is not no dying for, for God. What that is, prevent yourself a living sacrifice, is charity. Give, and you shall receive. That's what that is. That's what that is. The mercies of God. Remember, mercy is the bad you deserve, you don't get. Mercy is when you did something crazy, you know you deserve something bad, and you don't get it. Wow. By the mercies of God, he says, I'm making this appeal to you. I'm not doing it out of fear. I'm not doing it telling you you got to do it to earn 
sonship. He said, I gave that to you by grace. I I'm not telling you you got to do this so you can earn righteousness. I already gave that to you by grace. He says, all the stuff that... that the this is not your typical ad for makeup or auto insurance. We're asking for your urgent support to power UNICEF's relentless work to help children. Already well, been granted to you. Walk worthy of the righteousness that God says you already are. Walk worthy of the holiness that God says you already have. Walk worthy of, 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 of the salvation that you were born by grace, okay? Born again by grace. Walk worthy of that. So all my Christian life, I thought that meant walk this way so you can be that way. It's the other way around. I was born that way. So I might as well learn how to match my birthright with my life. Match my birthright with my life. It's a whole different thing now, right? There's no fear and condemnation there. None at all. Turn your neighbor and tell them to wake up. <laughs> I ain't hollering today. You need to learn something.